Hey from Mike Ashonga here. In this video, I'm going to show you an affordable method to actually darken the window. So the window behind me is right now a little bit of blown and especially you don't see much of the building across the street because it's really light. Uh, but like there is a more industry standard method is using ND gels. However, gels are really expensive and you need to store them really carefully because if there's any fault or creases in them, you will see it's really bad on the window and it's not really that great. A uh, much more affordable method that I have found is to get a mesh. So these are called like fly meshes or um, yeah just window meshes and get them in black and they really help so I can hold it now in front of me and you can see like what it does with the building behind me so you can see the building much more clearly and main thing is like uh, when you have this off course on the window and you're not focusing on the window you will just film through it and especially if you have uh, a window behind your subject and the window is out of focus of course you won't see the net as clearly but yeah let's go to some of the tests that I can show you like uh, how it looks uh, with and without. So this is the first shot without so you can see the background is very overblown behind the dummy head and now with it, it you can see it's much better it looks much better However, I did put the mesh in front of the curtain. However, when I put the mesh behind the curtain, of course, it looks much different of a look. So the mesh sizes come in different sizes and I do have uh, two of them. This is the one by one mesh, but I also have the one by one and a half mesh. And uh, the difference, of course, is like the strength of how much uh, light comes through it. And I think it's much more preferably just getting the one by one and uh, just skipping the one and one half because the one by one and half is not as strong, but uh, it's often not strong enough. So now you can see the result behind me with also the mesh. And of course it looks much better without the window being very overblown behind me. But I'm also not lighting myself with a very bright light. This is now I'm using the Emron 60D with the reflector on, but I have like a big diffusion uh, in front of it. And that is lighting me now and give me a nice soft look, but also like it isn't as bright as like the bigger lights, of course. A net is, yeah, for me, it's really affordable. Also, it's much easier to fold it in like a really small size to put into my uh, camera bag or like my lighting bag. And it's just really great that it's very reusable. I've already used it on multiple short films and yeah, it is something that I would keep around when I'm doing gaff work, but also like if I'm doing my own short films, this is definitely something to keep around because sometimes you just need this extra thing to have like a nicer shot than trying to like push like a really strong light or get like a really strong light to just overpower the sun from the outside. So yeah, hopefully this tip was uh, really helpful for you guys. And if you really like me, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.